Hi, this is Chris Leffel with Code Green Networks. Today we're going to be talking about best practices for using data loss prevention tools to help comply with PCI DSS 2.0. Now there are 12 requirements in the PCI DSS standard, and data loss prevention tools really help with three of those requirements. And the requirements that DLP helps with would be number three, number four, and number 11. So let's take a look at each one of those in detail. So requirement number three is protecting stored cardholder data. And one of the most effective ways to protect stored cardholder data is going out and making sure it's not there in the first place. So a data loss prevention tool can help with that by going out and sweeping your SAN or sweeping your workstations or even tapping in your databases and making sure that nobody's accidentally stored uh, cardholder data out in any of those environments unencrypted or untokenized. Requirement number four is encrypting the transmission of cardholder data as it's sent over public and untrusted networks. So the way a data loss prevention solution can help you meet number four is it can sit at the perimeter of your network and make sure that folks aren't accidentally sending out cardholder data unencrypted. So that means checking every email that leaves your environment, checking the attachments on emails, making sure that people aren't inadvertently sending this information out via webmail. It also means checking some lesser used protocols for things like this, like checking for this information over Instant Messenger or perhaps FTP. Requirement number 11 is to regularly test security systems and processes. The way that data loss prevention solutions can help with requirement number 11 is they can be set up to continuously audit your environment for cardholder information. So in other words, you can actually set them up to continuously scan your SAN or your workstations and make sure nobody's accidentally storing cardholder data out there on a continuous basis. You could also configure them to run at your network perimeter and watch for this information leaving on a continuous basis. And this helps you put a check in the controls you have in place around your data to make sure that they're working the way the, that you think they are. So in summary, the most effective place to apply data loss prevention tools to PCI DSS is on requirements 3, 4, and 11. 